So what we're going to do in this video is rough out um, the basic uh, torso, the head, and the neck of our character. When we finish all of the anatomy stuff, we're going, like I said, very generic, quick. Uh, then we will... I love to draw my own characters. I kind of want to do it for this one where we don't draw off a concept. We do it from a grouping of photos because... Um, with a lot of beginning artists, they you really need to focus on one discipline in this scheme of things. So, for example, if you want to learn character modeling and animation, you do modeling, rigging, and animation sort of in broad chunks as you go along. So you can learn the pipeline. This is my opinion, uh, which has yielded me very good results and work. So here's where we are. Um, uh, at the end of this video, we'll have something that looks like this. I'm going to pause it and open where we left. This is where we left off last time. Um, so this is also a beginner Blender video, so you might have to do a little bit of searching if I forget to explain every element. Um, something that's cool, though, is if you look down here, that down at the bottom here, it says Select, Move, Rotate, View, Object, Contents. If I click that middle mouse, notice it says Axis Snap. It kind of tells you what uh, options are available to you as you're doing this. Uh, if you right-click on the edge when you get the two arrows, it says area option. So for example, if I do a vert vertical split and then I left click again, I can break this into two views. And this particular view, I'm going to press N as in Nancy and then T as in Tom to hide those two. This is going to serve as my non X-ray view view. So as I'm working in this view, which I'll be spending a lot of time in, I want to be able to manipulate things in here just to kind of use it as sort of my way of looking at it. So what I'd also like to do is hide this background image. So I'm just going to click on uh, this right here to hide the reference image. So we're only looking at the sphere. So if I need to, I can actually model in here, uh, which is what I like. So uh, another thing I'd like to point out is if you hold control and space, you can zoom in on that particular view. So that's a nice way of, like I said, I can kind of free sculpt in here and then I have my anatomy structure in here. Let me turn this on for one second, turn on my um, background quickly for one second, because if I press um, three in here, there's my side, I can see it lines up. And if I press one here, I feel like my, my background is still a little off. So I'm just gonna click on that. And inside of here, I'm gonna press N as in Nancy. And notice my X makes it go left and right. I'm left clicking and holding down the mouse on the X. I just wanna kinda shift it over just a tad bit like that, so it's lined up better. Now this isn't going to be perfect, um, which is okay uh, for now, because um, what I'm doing is I'm going, I, I like a little bit of uncertainty as I'm working. It helps me focus more on the project, and it also builds your artistic ability. If you can't look at a reference and copy it, you should definitely keep working towards that skill. All right, so let's go ahead and start sculpting, okay? So... What we have here is our backgrounds, and we have our head, uh, which is this guy right here. And um, what I'm going to do is press 3, and I'm going to just start shaping out this cranium. So I'm holding Shift and clicking in the middle front nib of my pen. And like I said before, you can 100% do this with the left mouse button and all that. So I'm going to hold Control and then hit Tab once. You can also hold it, but and I'm going to go to Sculpt Mode. And uh, let's go back in here and press N as I hover over just to hide that. And let's hide these views again so I can, I'm really just sort of looking. So uh, holding shift, zooming, uh, or holding control rather, zooming in, holding shift, clicking that middle nub. I'm just going to sort of look at this in 3D view, right? So I can kind of go back and forth and sculpt. So let's hold, um, let's hit control and space, holding shift and clicking that middle nub. I'm going to select this guy. And off on the side here, I'm just going to use my grab. Now, what I do sometimes is I actually hide it by pressing T, and I hold Shift, and I hit spacebar uh, in the center hard. And I'm just holding Shift now, and it gives me this. So if I click on grab, I can have that. But for now, we'll leave that open, because that takes a little bit of uh, practice. You'd be surprised. So I'm going to hit F to focus, or F to scale my brush size up. And I'm going to pull this skull back, and I'm going to pull all this stuff back just so I'm getting the nice structure of a skull. And I'm going to grab this front part and bring this down like that. So what I'm doing is creating 
the rough shape of a head, so just so it matches. And like I said, I'm not going perfectly. Now what you'll probably notice is it's gonna, if I go into, if I just start rotating out, and let's um, turn off our x-ray mode, notice that I'm getting a little bit of weirdness in here. So I'm gonna hold control and I'm just gonna inflate that center. I'm going around my head and just making sure that it's round. So holding shift here, zooming out a little bit. I want a nice round cranium for now. I know nobody's head is truly round, but we're creating sort of this mythical character. I'm gonna press one here, and I'm just gonna pull the sides out, and then bring this down. And then what I wanna do is, um, let's kind of smooth this out a little bit more. Now, I'm going to bring my brush down, and where the temples are of my model, I'm just going to hold control, and I'm gonna push that in a little bit. So something like that. Now to see that a little bit better, um, let's go ahead and hit uh, Control and Space again to bring that out. In my Jamin tool, or JSculpt tools by Jamin, um, I have this voxel size, right? And that's also located here under Remesh, right? And so what this does, and this just gives us a hotkey, a shortcut, is if I go to point zero nine here and I press Enter, and I hit Remesh, it'll remesh the whole thing and give me sort of a nice uh, structure it cleans up the geometry. Well, why is this important? Let me hit Control Z a couple times. If I hold Shift and hit Z, you can see I go to wireframe mode. Do you notice that there's like ugly line work here? It's stretching. If I bring this out, it stretches out the geometry even more. So I'm going to hit Shift Z to get rid of that. With remeshing, it creates a nice uh, sort of even distribution for the model to sculpt on, and it gives me a little bit more geo. Now, I like to work this high for a little while. Um, and uh, you know, just kind of working a little bit high, sculpting, and then I'll actually play with this. So I'll go, you know what, 0 0.9 is too big, let's do 0 0.1, let's see how that looks. And I'll just sort of keep working on with uh, lower resolution, uh, uh, just kind of like working with a resolution I can work with, but that also makes me see, gives me kind of good remote results. So now I have a pretty cool head to work from here. The next thing I wanna do is create the torso that I'm gonna attach the neck to. Well, uh, there's a couple ways of doing this. So, for example, let's start with, well, how, how would we create the neck, right? Well, what we can do is select our mask brush down here. And I'll bring this down a little bit. And I'm just going to mask out an area where the neck would go, right? So something like this. And I can hit Control-I to invert this. And then as I select my Move tool from down here, I want it to be pivoted where the mask area is. So if I go to Sculpt and I go set pivot, set pivot to unmasked area. You can see it moved it down there. Well, with this J tool here, one neat thing that um, this person developed, he developed, was if you do invert and transform, it does all of that for you in one fell swoop. And so now I can actually pull down a neck. But you can see here, let's kind of really bring this down a little bit. You can see that the geometry is really ugly. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't normally do it this way, but it might be cool to try it. Let's bring this all the way down to the character's pelvis. And then let's just hit remesh. And what we can do is we can actually use this chunk of geo here as our uh, shoulder, torso, and neck. Normally I would build out a cylinder for the neck and I'd put a sphere there, but let's try this out. Let's see how this works. And then what I'll do is the in the other tutorial, um, I will... The, uh, the, the female one, when I do that one, I'll do it the way I normally do it, where I just build out a bunch of spheres. So let's see if this works. So I'm gonna go in the front view and I'm just going to drag this out, kind of just shaping it like this. And what might be good is to turn this back on here. Looks good. I want that to have a little bit of a dip, bringing that neck in. And I'm always glancing over here, by the way, to kind of see how that looks. So just kind of following that shape without the shoulders. So press F here, bring this in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and press three. And let's bring this front, this back a little bit. I might need to go use a combo of this move. So I'm gonna hit F to bring this up and I'm holding control and I'll just bring that belly out a little bit like that. Going back here. Now it's it's kind of it's getting a little tough. So there's a nifty trick to this is I can actually inflate this. 
So you can see here we have all these different brushes. If you hold shift and hit space, it actually gives you the name. Or if you go to the side here and you drag this out, you can see you can get the names this way too. So if we're looking for our inflate brush, um, and now if I kind of sculpt out with my inflate brush, you can see I'm inflating that front. This probably is a little bit better. And so now I could jump between those two values. And you know, like if you want to adjust the strength of your brush, you can do it that way. It'll give you a little bit more power in there. Holding shift kind of smooth that out. Bring that up a little bit more. And let's, um, now what we want to do here is we want to get a nice curvature or nice for our rib cage. And then where our rib cage turns to our pelvis, we have a bend. So I'm going to grab my grab tool here. And I'm going to, right where the navel is, I'm going to push in that divot like that. See this? So let's hit three again. And I'm going to pull that navel out. Now, most people who aren't superheroes, their navel is the belly area, essentially, is the highest point where the stomach comes out. It's kind of a generic uh, uh, sort of set of things here. So I'm going to hit uh, T for a second to hide that, bring this down. And I want to bring this whole neck area forward. So bringing that forward. Let's kind of, let's do it in this view too. Just paying close attention to not uh, ruin the structure. So I'm holding control as I click and that lets it pull out in a specific area. Like that. And holding shift to smooth that out. Let's pull this down a little bit more. We need a little bit of this. Let's bring this chin out. Smooth that out a little bit, bring this down. I think that's good. Doesn't have to be perfect, but like that looks pretty good. Smooth this out a little bit, holding shift to smooth. All right, now the next thing I want to do is clean up this geo. So I'm just going to hit remesh again. There we go, clean that up, holding shift to smooth all this stuff out. Now, what I'd like to do is start to uh, create some of the muscle structure, the clavicle, things like that. So let's go ahead and hit one in our view here. I'm going to hit N to hide this for a second. And what I want to do is use a tool called Dino Topo, Dino Topo. And what that does is it allows me, as I'm sculpting, to find, to actually add geometry where the brush stroke is. So I'm going to hit Shift Z here to kind of demo this for you. Now, I like to use there's a bunch of different sizes. So here's subdiv subdivide and collapse. So watch what happens if, as I sculpt here. Let's um, let's go ahead and bring in a sculpting brush for a second. Let's use our clay strips, my favorite. With that selected, notice it subdivides the geometry at a lower rate. Let me really bring this down so you can see this. So notice that the area I'm stroking, it's either uh, more dense or less dense. So this is, a, a, I, I kind of like subdividing clubs. My favorite is actually where it says relative detail here. I do brush detail, or I'm sorry, constant detail. And what constant detail does is if I bring this up to like 50, it gives me constant detail across the entire model, right? So you can see here, it's, con it's giving me the constant detail across. I don't necessarily need it to be that high now. So I, I'll bring it down to maybe 30. And it says subdivide and collapse is good. There's collapse edges. I'm going to leave it as subdivide and collapse because for now, I, I kind of like the look of that. So what one way to do this, if you're a beginning sculptor, right, is we can select, for example, we have this draw, draw shape, all this other good stuff. If you grab your draw tool and you draw across this, what you'll notice is it gives us a line. It's almost like we're drawing. So what I'm going to do is hold control here. And I'm going to push this in, and I'm just going to mark where, let's make sure that we are, uh, I'm going to have to really shape this out a little bit better, but where our um, abdomen is coming in, like this, so something like this. And because this is the muscle system, it's not doing a very good job of showing us where the rib cage is. So the actual rib cage is these two top, the top two abs sit on the top of the rib cage, and then our rib cage comes down, 
show you like this. It comes down to roughly above the navel and then back into this area here. So we're just sort of blocking out to the center of the back. So we're, we're blocking out roughly where the rib cage would be. And then what we can do now is we can shape and fill. So I'm going to go back into my front view here. I'm going to hit shift and hit space. And then I'm going to grab my grab brush and then really make sure that our character is matching the shape of our torso. Let's bring this out a little bit here. All right, and then with my clay strips brush, I'm just gonna fill this in like that. Let's increase the strength a little bit on that. Yeah, it's much better. Fill these guys in a little bit. The abs here. And you could, I mean, you can go into your traced area here on the side too. Fill these guys in like that. And then I'm going to fill in, just kind of using these strokes, my rib cage like that. And then I'm going to do my lats and my, um, uh, um, kind of where my sternum is and stuff by just drawing a triangle here just sitting above that rib cage, so something like this. Now, what I do, let's kind of bring this a little bit more, is in order to give us that nice shape, now remember, we're going to, um, let's bring our love handles out a little bit more here, just kind of cleaning that up and bring it down here. They wrap all the way down and around. What I want to do is, from the front view, so let's go ahead and turn off x-ray from here. You can actually see on somebody who's this lean, their lats kind of coming out from the back, right? So what I'll do is, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit, holding control. I'm going to dig inside of here for a second. And then I'm going to add some meat to my lats on this side. And now you'll start to see them coming out like this. And for now, just like an action figure, I'm just going to dig in that area just so that we have, we're going to add a sphere later. Okay, now next thing I want to do is build out this area on the neck, going a little bit further than what I showed you in the tutorial, but I'm having fun. And let's give him a pronounced Adam's apple. Let's add the two bones of the clav, really, I'm doing a bad job of demoing. Oh, I hit it right where it's supposed to be. We want to add them here, and then we want to draw in this clavicle, and then have it wrap up and around like this, and then let's attach the jugular. A couple of these guys around like this. Kind of carving this down. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of the meat of the jaw, like this. We're going to sculpt the head later, but just kind of always sort of pronouncing where I'm at. And then let's really, just for the time being, so we have our landmarks, let's make sure that we got these guys in here too. Looks pretty good. And we'll really bring this uh, back out later, you know, like uh, when we focus on the back. So, and honestly, the, the skull will come a little bit more down like this. And so it's it's not as uh, like as pronounced as or as straight as that. So let's go ahead and fix that, and then we'll end this video. So we haven't been paying a lot of attention back here. So I'm just going to use my grab tool, expand this a little bit, and then just push this in. Pull these guys out, and this arm is sort of obstructing our view, and that's okay. Like as long as we have a nice curve going, and we know where our uh, like from the glutes are and all that good stuff. So this is where we end up.